don't know if whether this image was published anywhere else as a news photo, but where it appeared was, I think, just the online version of a story that was really about this kind of generational Bernie Hillary thing with younger women. And the op-ed piece was essentially, once women get into the workplace and experience sexism in their own lives, they start to sort of come around to Hillary. So there was a kind of argument there that, mm-hmm. well, college women really haven't kind of had that moment yet. In that context, I read it as like, look at all these men, Bernie, 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 yeah. right? It's almost a photographic illustration, you know, the, the, oh my gosh, you know, Bernie, what do we do about him? I think the photo would still work without that expression. I think that expression forces it a little bit, but I think mm-hmm. if, even if she was just sitting there or even just on her phone, I think just having a person in that frame around these signs, having a supporter there, it works on any level. Savannah Downing in the comments um, made a really nice point visually. She said, notice how the, the giant Hillary sign folds around the woman on the bench. Something that jumped out to me was it's not the sort of middle-aged, white, blonde, typical Hillary yeah. voter. The story out there is that Hillary Clinton is the kind of white feminist for other white feminists, but when you look at the voting patterns, um, she's getting most of the African American vote. She's getting mm-hmm. significant uh, share of the Latina vote. And to me, there's some exasperation about, about this voter's perspective being erased by that narrative. As a photographer, one of the things that this reminds me is, is how often that intuitively I would be drawn to a, a picture in a very quick way where I'm taking everything in, and then as I look at it when I'm printing it, I realize all of the different layers that could be interpreted in many different ways. You know, I'm often curious about how the public would look at this, whether or not they would see some of the long read uh, interpretation of the imagery here or whether they have that quick read is oh here's a woman of color who's clearly working for Hillary and you know she's got that that big sign by her and then there's all the little Bernies all around her or, or whether or not they'll start looking at the other layers as well. You get the stories in the newspaper about Hillary and Bernie voted together when they were both in the Senate 93% of the time. And so this picture, I think, is showing the similarities between the candidates that we aren't hearing about as much in news narratives that really represent Hillary and Bernie as very, very different. But visually, at least in terms of colors, I think that this photo sends a slightly different message. And looking at a lot of campaign images, if we're talking about graphics, typography, the signs themselves, It's really interesting how you see this in Republicans, too, how the Obama typography, the layout of the blue color has just been repeated by everyone. I think this is a great picture because it, for obvious reasons, captures, you know, what's been happening on the Democratic side. And anytime you can get something like this where the pieces fit together like this is Mm -hmm. outstanding.